Hey, David Finale here from Century 21 UDN Realty, located in Woodridge and Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey, in Bergen County. You know, we've talked about Bergen County in a previous video of home sales and prices, etc., and it's been pretty stable over the board. But if we look at different towns, we see how the stability is kind of rocked and how that average comes about of being pretty stable. For instance, in Hasbrook Heights, you look at a 14% increase in home sales. Uh, with prices being stable across the board over that two-year period. Lodi, you had 12.5% less homes sold, but you had price stability of no change really over the two years. Woodridge, you're looking at a 7.5% less homes sold, barely an increase in price. Um, list price was the same. Carlstadt, New Jersey, we're looking at you know, 33 homes sold in 2010s compared to 32 where you had a drop in price of almost 10%. Now, there's a lot of anomalies in there, but this is just to show you how things are different across the board and why and how they actually average out. If we look at Rutherford, which is a very uh, big commuting town, you had 11% less homes sold. Now, that's a lot uh, for this town. You had an increase of price of 1.5%, which is really not representative of the problem with the economy and the housing market. However, that's one thing to understand with Rutherford is that it took 25 more days to sell that house. So all of these towns showing differences, it could be taxes, it could be perception of what's going to happen with taxes. But if we look at the whole of these local areas, we have to look at the inventory. Inventory really has been pretty stable around the towns and the inventory basically is what has to sell. When we look at basic supply and demand, basic economic theory, the more homes on the market, the lower the prices are going to be. It's basic supply and demand theory. Now is a great time to put your house on the market to get it sold for a good price. We don't want you to wait because all the fancy experts from NAR and Fannie Mae and all those places are saying that foreclosures are going to be released into the market in all of these towns, which means the supply is going to be high and prices are going to go down. Buyers as well understand that interest rates have gone up over the past three or four months. Let's be careful what we do, but now is a great time to sell, and it is also a great time to buy. I don't mean to sound salesy, but it's true. If you buy a $300,000 house today with that mortgage, as compared to a couple of months, if prices go down and interest rates go up, your payment's going to be the same. We'll see you in a couple of weeks with some more information to let you know how January panned out compared to the previous year. Thanks a lot for your time.